Hello, my friends. Hi, hello. How's your day going? Good, 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 good. Perfect. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Lady Divine, and you are more than welcome to join my Born Divine family by subscribing, of course, to this channel. Today, I was thinking about taking you all one step further and I want to show you how to achieve this dark chocolatey brown with golden reflexes smoky eye makeup with a tiny wing just because I love wings. You will see in this tutorial how easy it is to apply glitter and gold on your lid and how easy it is to achieve this perfectly blended round shape around your eyes if you're not keen on the elongated shape. As always, I hope you didn't forget to subscribe to my channel and you won't forget to thumbs this video up. Okay, I did it. If you really enjoy my makeup lesson. And even though you don't enjoy this video, come on, don't be mean. You know I need your appreciation. I can now see that my eye makeup does not match my background, but I felt the need to make some changes and I hope you don't mind. Now, please, let's take a look at how to achieve this majestic makeup look. So I just realized that I was filming everything in slow motion. I have no words for myself. So let's just start over. Good thing we have another eye to pile on makeup and you have this preview. Yeah. This is pretty much what we want to achieve today. It's not finished, so just be patient. It will look even better. So yeah, I will prep my lids with this primer from MAC. You already know it, it's soft ochre. You know what the deal is with this primer. If you have very dry lids, do not use it. If you have very oily lids, you should press some powder over it. If you have normal lids, then just apply it and you'll be good to go. I'm applying this second layer for the camera because I don't know if I will be able to use any footage in slow motion. Okay. Let's press everything. Let's blend it into the lid. I will be playing today with an old friend of mine, this Be Perfect Carnival palette. I didn't make the upgrade to the Be Perfect Carnival XL because I still had this palette and I'm taking a, just a tiny bit of this deep brown eyeshadow and I'm starting by pushing it into my crease. So today I'm not going to elongate my eyes too much i want to show you that we can definitely make round shades look good on our eyes because maybe i will talk about this two different techniques one day because we can shape our face by developing different shapes horizontally or we can do it vertically like for example, if you have a short face, oh my God, I look ridiculous. If you have a short face, you want to elongate it. If you have a longer face, you will want to shorten the length of it. Time to blend this mess outwards. So you see, this is why you don't have the courage or maybe some of you do not have the courage to try new techniques because you look at yourself like this in the mirror and you get scared and you never get the courage to go beyond, to be patient, to wait until the last step. I'm pushing and pulling the eyeshadows. This type of eyeshadows, you have to work just a little bit differently with them. You have to push them really well into the skin and then you have to blend them because otherwise you will not get the full pigment of it. <laughs> I know you're judging me. Some of you are judging me right now, but so you can see that for the roundness of it all i had to come near my eyebrow right here in the beginning and then i had to go down here 
down here. And taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to do these circular motions to blend everything seamlessly. I'm gonna marry everything together by using this shimmering bronzer from MUA. I will be using this one in every tutorial of mine. I really love this one. I will only apply a little bit of highlighter on this area. I'm doing all the steps before transforming my brows because as you can see with all this highlighter going into the brow we left such a small space around here. We need to, to come back with the brows afterwards. Let's blend some more. And that's it. This is how you achieve a very dark round shape around your eyes. Don't worry, it's going to look better. Right now what we have to do next is to get these shimmers, golden reflexes on top of our lid, in the middle of our lid. And I'm taking, first of all, I'm taking some golden eyeshadow from the Be Perfect palette. The shade's name is Queenie. Patting it all over. Next, I'm taking this holographic eyeshadow from Cupio. I hope you can see it. This is basically the perfect dupe for the Stila liquid eyeshadows. And I'm using it as a topper. Very beautiful. And it stays on so well. So metallic. Love it. But we have to blend this eyeshadow too. Now that we're going on our lower lid, I have to make sure that my color will stay there and it won't crease. So basically as a primer, as a base, I'm going to use this Boysenberry's eyeliner in the shade Tiramisu. I've showed you this pencil so many times, it's so versatile. I'm using it almost in every glam makeup, blends so easily into the skin and it's perfect for the pencil technique which pencil technique is basically that technique where you use pencil first, eyeshadow second. This will make sure, this technique will make your eyeshadows last longer and be more pigmented and more opaque. Oh, you're scared now, but you will be loving this by the time I'm done with it. So I'm blending this pencil. You have to blend the pencil every time. And right now I'm dipping this Inglot 10S brush into that same brown eyeliner. And basically I'm setting the eye pencil in place. I know that it looks messy right now. I know that it looks very grungy, but, but just bear with me. You'll see that when I'm done with the entire face, when I'm done with my lips, you will want to wear this makeup at every party you go. To connect and to marry both lids together, I'm doing like this round motion, circular motion, starting underneath my eye and back and forth until I am pleased with this connection and un until I am pleased with the blending. Let's start to clean everything up with this drugstore concealer. I know, another drugstore concealer. Well, I can't help it. I love drugstore concealers. They are very good. And this one is even better than the last one I used. I, I mean, I like this one better because it's not so drying. It's in the shade C3, Super Size Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm not sure for which high-end concealer they try to create this dupe. And right now I'm trying to give the shade a rounder shape by cleaning everything with round motion. And now I will have to cover all these marks with this beautiful full coverage foundation from Ilamaska Skin Base, one of my favorites, a generic foundation loved by every makeup artist. Let's go in 
it has like an olive undertone and by the way i'm using the shade 4.5 it's a little bit too olive in the beginning but then it blends pretty naturally into your skin time to set our under eye and because this powder is so strong i will not be baking at the moment i don't know i feel like i'm going through faces when i like baking so much and faces when i am not in the mood to bake i'm using this gorgeous fan brush from misa brushes you can find it on their website it's number 34 and here i am baking basically well semi baking i guess we need a little bit of baking on the sides of our nose it will help us with the contouring part right let's tap here to remove all the shine without adding too much powder and on the rest of the face we will now begin to bronze see how i'm always mixing steps and changing my routine in every video because i don't want to bore you with the same technique over and over again i don't know going in to this shimmering perfection from MUA and i don't know if you have noticed if you've watched all my tutorials by now see this is why i don't like to let my hair down when i'm filming i don't know if you have noticed you have to just watch my latest tutorials but my favorite brush to bronze is this one from morphe and it's e4 these two brushes i got from them they are made from another type of uh, fiber um and it just blends bronzer amazingly and i like to blend with this brush because as you can see i'm always bronzing over my foundation not over my powders let's not forget about the nose i promised you in my last tutorial that i will be showing you how i am reshaping completely reshaping my nose so i'm mixing the bronzer with the powder i've applied already on the sides of my nose don't worry if it's too much because you need this pigment to blend it basically blend it into your nose see how right now it looks more natural and it's not too much not at all now let's go back to our eyes and i always feel like i need this eyeliner just a tiny bit not a lot of it because to be honest i have like this almond shape eyes and whenever i'm putting my eyeshadow in a round shape i feel like it's not very natural for me for you it might look more natural because it completely depends on what kind of shape you have right now i feel like i really need this tiny bit of black eyeliner here and i'm using the same marker that i'm always using this drugstore marker from collection 24 hours felt tip eyeliner in black i'm using the black one to draw my eyeliner i sometimes use when i want more intense results i use the england one the 77 eyeliner gel which is waterproof and very resistant and it depends on my mood right now i had this one and i'm always using the black one for my eyes and the brown one for my eyebrows which we will do in just a moment so half eyeliner will be just perfect for this makeup look i'm always wanting to elongate my inner corner too i almost forgot about the highlighter in the inner corner now let's go back with some highlighter oh this looks deserves a lot of highlighter and i love this highlighter it's the iconic mary luminizer from the bob and you can really tell from my kit that i've stayed loyal to the iconic makeup makeup products because i just know they work and when you do makeup on clients 
you really cannot go and try everything that's new on the market. You have to go for stuff that that are 100% approved by the entire industry. So I've applied to my nose the bronzer. Now I'm applying some highlighter, but I'm not done yet. Like my nose, like the bridge of my nose still looks so large. We want to make it a little bit thinner, but we will do that after we're done with the brows. You know what? I don't want to do too much to my brows today. So I'm using the same duo for my brows. This Color Lash Transparent Mascara from Collection. And I'm cleaning my brows with it because right now on my brows there are concealers, foundations, powders, highlighters and all that junk. And right now I have to look at my brow and visualize the shape I want. And when I know what kind of shape I want, I can go in and draw the and draw in the brow hairs I need in order to achieve my perfect shape. Here's to my tail. Here are some segments on top of my brow. Every time I'm doing it, them on camera, I tend to overdo them. See already? Okay, I'm gonna stop. And right now I'm going to draw in just some tiny bits in the beginning of the brow. And I will be going in with this plump and set brow artist for blondes in order to fill them in, but I don't want to make them darker. I just want some fibers on them so they will look fuller. Now let's get back to sculpting our nose. I would probably get a lot of views by doing this tutorial separately, but I've promised you in my latest tutorial when my camera died that I will explain it thoroughly in my next tutorial. So here I am. For this operation, you will be needing these kind of brushes. You will need a pencil type brush, a synthetic brush and a flat brush, but make it fat. Okay. I will show you immediately why and how and when and with whom. Furthermore, you will need your concealer and the most important part, this special product, matte highlighter. It has to be finely milled and it has to be HD. I will be using this HD sculpting powder in the shade 503 from Inglot from Freedom System, which means you can buy all these colors separately and they and then you don't have to get the entire palette. I've made this palette myself. So, okay. So right now I'm taking the tiniest amount of concealer. I hope you can see it. What you see here is double the quantity we need. So when I say a tiny amount, I mean a tiny amount. You do not want to cover your nose in a ton of concealer. Good. And then you have to draw on top of the bronzer, on top of the highlighter we have added already to our nose. We're going to draw this tiny, tiny, tiny line on the bridge of your nose. Do you see how tiny it is? Yeah. And then we'll make an exclamation point with a tiny dot in the middle of your nose. On this tiny dot, you will be adding the tiniest amount of highlighter, shimmery highlighter, okay? Now let's blend it a little bit. We will not blend everything. Do you see that the line is still quite visible? Now, with this, with the edge of this other brush, I'm picking up just the tiniest amount of this HD sculpting powder and I'm going to apply it 
not only to the bridge of my nose, I'm blending the edges this way, but I'm going to sculpt the sides of my nose. And you can see how this way we are hugging with the light color the shades we previously created. And by blending the side of our nose with the, with the under eye area, we make this area look more flat and we make our nose look more narrow. And this is how I basically contour my nose for the camera, for the tutorials, for the pictures on Instagram. I do not recommend you to wear this in the daylight because it is a very harsh way to contour your nose and unless you're making this correction softer please do not wear this in public in the daylight thank you good now what do we do we don't have mascara we do not have lashes we do not have lips Yes, we do have lips, but we have to do something. We have to apply some juicy glosses. We have to apply some juicy lip liners. We have to make them look decent. Now that I have applied the mascara and the lashes, we are ready to do something with our lips. I'm going to apply quickly this marshmallow lip pencil from Boys and Berries. Oops, I'm so sorry. So sorry you didn't see it. And the next step is to apply this lip dose from Sleek. It's a soft matte lipstick in the shade Say My Name. Let's add a tiny bit of concealer just for fun let's see what this detail brings us it blends so easily because the lipstick is so creamy that's basically the look my lovely ladies and gentlemen maybe who knows um my lips match my background a little bit my eyes are red not because of the makeup but because i've been sitting in these strong studio lights for the last three hours <laughs> and because i have light colored eyes they get red very easily i hope you already are subscribed to my channel i hope you already are part of my born divine family if not you know what to do. See you on my Instagram for the next week. And until then, I send you many, many kisses. Bye-bye.